Good evening from Church of the Cross. We're blessed to be here tonight. I've got Jordan Ross with me to help with our music and to be our lay reader. And by way of introduction, of course, this is uh, our healing service is normally a very hands-on service. Uh, everybody gets anointed with oil when they, when they come up. And, and after our service, we have lots of time to interact with people, to, to hear their prayer request and to pray specifically for them. But uh, not tonight. Different times, different methods, that's where we are right now. But it's the same God who hears us and cares about us and desires our healing. That's why he went to the cross. So his kingdom would come in this world here and now. And there'll be a time later in the service, for those of you watching live, in the comment box of Facebook Live to put in your request. And I ask that you just say something like, pray for me, pray for my son, or something like that. Because remember, Facebook Live is a public announcement. It's like shouting it from uh, the rooftops. It's, it's public, it's not private, there's no confidentiality, there's no security, there's nothing like that. It's out there for whoever would like to, to read it, to join on and to watch what we do here. Um, I, we do have healing team prayer ministers online also at this time, and they will respond right after you put in, please pray for me, they will respond with, I'm praying for you now. Now, the God who made the stars above and the, all the stars in the sky, I believe he's big enough to put your request and our prayer partner's response together. So that's, that's what we're going to do. He can, he can handle it. He's, he, he's big enough to handle it. So what I'd like to do now is just let us kind of quiet our hearts as we prepare to, to, to worship and to be involved in this in this service, in this new way, in this what's uh, going to be probably for quite a while, our new normal. And so we just want to focus, focus on our Lord and Savior because he never changes. So, Jordan. Thank you, Tom. We'll be singing Miracles by, uh, by Jesus Culture. This was written after the, the loss of a child by Chris Kiala. It was a, uh, it's a very powerful song. The one who made the blind to see is moving here in front of me. Moving here in front of me The one who made the deaf to hear Is silencing my every fear Silencing my every fear I believe in you I believe in you You're the God of miracles I believe in you, I believe in you, you're the God of miracles. The one who does impossible. It's reaching out to make me whole, reaching out to make me whole. The one who put death in its place, his life is flowing through my veins, his life is flowing through my veins. I believe in you, I believe in you, you're the God of miracles. I believe in you, 
I believe in you You're the God of miracles The God who was and is to come The power of the risen one The God who brings the dead to life You're the God of miracles you're the God of miracles The God who was and is to come The power of the risen one The God who brings the dead to life You're the God of miracles You're the God of miracles I believe in you I believe in you You're the God of miracles and I believe in you I believe in you You're the God of miracles And now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbors. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we might delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, and strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth will proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and evermore shall be. Let not those who trust in you, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed because of me. Let not those who seek you be condemned, confounded through me, O God of Israel. Surely for your sake I have suffered reproach and shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brethren, unknown to my mother's children, because zeal of, for your house has consumed me, and the reproaches of those who reproached you have fallen upon me. I wept and humbled myself with fasting. But that was turned to my reproach. I put on sackcloth also, and I became a byword among them, those who sit in the gate speak against me. And the drunkards make songs about me. But Lord, I make my prayer to you. In an acceptable time. Hear me, O God, in the multitude of your mercy. Even in the truth of your salvation. Reproach has broken my heart. I am full of heaviness. I looked for some to have pity on me, but there was none. Neither have I found any to comfort me. They gave me gall to eat. And when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Keep going. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. And raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God. And a great king above all gods. In his hand are the can caverns of the earth. And the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. And kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Our gospel lesson for today is from Matthew chapter 26. 
When Jesus had finished saying all these things, he said to his disciples, as you know, the Passover is two days away and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders and the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and they schemed to arrest Jesus and secretly kill him. But not during the festival, they said, or there may be a riot among the people. Then one of the 12, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and asked, what are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they counted out for him 30 pieces of silver. From then on, Jesus watched for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, my appointed time is near. I'm going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed, directed them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the 12. And while they were eating, he said, truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to him one after the other, surely you don't mean me, Lord. Jesus replied, the one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him, but woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. Jesus answered, You have said so. The, the word, word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together, let us say Canticle 17. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. And these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and evermore shall be. Amen. Our message tonight involves the Lenten journey. This is our theme all through the Easter, the Holy Week, and it's coming to a close. This being Wednesday night, Jesus is on his way to the cross. He's been teaching in the temple. He's been fulfilling the requirements of the law. He's prepared himself for the Passover meal. Tomorrow night, he celebrates the Last Supper with his disciples who he's been with. He is betrayed. He goes to the Garden of Gethsemane where he pours out his heart to his father. And he gets arrested. Friday the cross. Friday the cross. But even now, even now he stops to look at those, to look at those who are around him, he looks towards the people, those who are standing by, to those who call out to him, believers as well as the mockers. He extends himself on their behalf. Remember that that Friday on the cross, even as he was hanging on the cross, a completely innocent man rejected by God, taking all, suffering all of our sins, all of our punishment, taking it all onto himself, he looked at the repentant thief and said, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus is always willing if we are just willing to reach out and ask. Perhaps this, during this Lent, you've looked at your life in different ways. Certainly not normal this last month being in the valley of virus. Our lives have been changed it's been changed by forces totally beyond our control. Family life, 
work. Unemployment rates are soaring 10 times the week before, 20 times the week before. Someone told me that there's not going to be a time like this since the Great Depression in the mid-30s. 13, 14 percent unemployed. Our socialness, our social network, our communities around us. We can't go out and, and, and shake hands with our neighbors. We can't go to the store. We have limited hours in the store, limited number of people in our, in our grocery stores. Certainly church is different. Certainly church is different. Normally we're talking to a group of people, hands on, being able to hug and sit next to people in their, in their trials and, and troubles and hold hands. But not now. Not now. In these uncertain times, we need to remember some of the foundations of our faith. Nothing, nothing can separate us from the love of God. COVID-19 cannot separate us from the love of God. The civil government has the authority to say no more meetings of 10 or more or 5 or more or even down to 3. Um, they have that power. And we respect that power. We honor that power, that authority that's been given to them. They can't change God. They can't change our love for the Lord. Nothing can separate us from that. And God is unchanging, and his mercy and his love are forever. And that's what we have. Those are constants. The virus itself is simply a result of fallen creation. There have been other viruses, other plagues in, in, in recorded history. It's, it's not new that this, is gonna, that this would happen or that this could happen. Certainly with over 8 billion people on the world, it could happen. It was in the 1500s, the bubonic plague killed 60%. 60% of the people living in Europe died. That's a lot of people. All creation groans under the curse. But God has come to do something else. We know the devil seeks to kill and destroy. That's his mission. He knows he's out. Jesus won the victory on the cross. His kingdom is coming. It's here now and it's continuing to come. God seeks to heal and deliver. The kingdom of God is in our midst. The resurrection on Easter morning is God's proof to a doubting world. Everything Jesus said about himself is true. He is the healer. He is God's son. He came to deliver us. Praise God. And Jesus proclaimed the kingdom of God is in our midst. It's in his presence is the kingdom of God. Where he is, his kingdom is. The scripture tells us where two or three are gathered in his name, we are there. He is there, and he is here now. And his mission is to take back, our mission is to take back the ground that has been taken over by Satan. We're in a, in a battle for ground, for territory. The battle is in our hearts, in our minds, in everything we do and say. And that's where the battle lies. We are here to declare, as Jesus did, the day of liberation, the day of liberation, the day of healing, both physical, emotional, spiritual, any kind of little box you want to put it into. Healing, salvation is a total package. Everything, everything is available for healing. Childhood memories, forgiveness from things 50 years ago. Last week, 50 years, 100 years ago. Forgiveness can happen, and it can set you free. Praise God. And we do this, we accomplish this healing by, by accepting Jesus at his word. Jesus said, you will do these things. We would have this power. That was his proclamation. That's what he told us his disciples would have. He said we would do the same works he had done. 
And it's our job now. The only question Jesus is asking now is do you believe? Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Praise you, Lord. Yes, Lord, I believe. And I'm here to minister your healing presence, your healing grace to your people. We pray this all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen and amen. Now, if we could say together the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. And he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it abundantly. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all other who minister to the suffering, granted them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And it's at this time I'd ask you to go into the comment section on Facebook Live. Go into the comment section and, and post your request. Your request. And remember, it's, uh, it's a public venue. So... God can put the two together. Praise God. In Jesus' name, amen. Please. And 
dwell in the midst of us. Oh, come and have your way. Dwell in the midst of us. Wipe all the tears from my face. Dwell in the midst of us. You can have your way. 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 Shows be done. Come and change us. Not our will. Shows be done. Come and sustain us. Our will. Shows be done. Come and change us. Shows be done. Come and sustain us. Dwell in the midst of us. Come and dwell in this place. Dwell in the midst of us. Come and have a way. Dwell in the midst of us. Wipe all the tears from my faces. Dwell in the midst of us. You can have your way. You can have your way. Yours be done. Come and change us, and I all will. Yours be done. Come and sustain us, and I all will. But yours be done. Come and change us, and I all will. Would yours be done? Come, sustain us. Before we get there, I'd like to invite everyone watching, everybody who's watching, to simply put your hands out like this. Imagine you're a 10-year-old kid once again, and somebody's getting ready to give you a big present. I don't know, the grandparents, mom and dad, or Christmas or birthday or whatever. You're going to get something good, okay? Just put your hands out. I'm going to pray for you, and the Lord is going to give you a blessing. Oh, dear saints of God, those who are watching right now, those who are in your presence, Lord, and have been worshiping and praying along with us, I lay my hands upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ to sustain you with his presence, to drive away all sickness in body and spirit, and to give you that victory of life and peace, which will enable you to serve him both now and evermore. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father Kevin did a wonderful job talking about the sacrament of desire today on Facebook Live. 
I recommend that highly to your, to your viewing. And understand there's going to be a lot of things going on on this Facebook Live. So even if you're not a Facebook Live person, and a lot of people I know aren't, this seems to be the platform. Uh, some of it's available on the website too, so go there also. But praise you as we continue with our service. Savior of the world, by your cross and precious blood, you have redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their faith in him, to whom all things in heaven or earth or under the earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense, and make you know and believe that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that have done your will with cheerfulness during the day we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 You are my joy, you are my song, you are the will, the one I'm drawing from. You are my refuge, my whole life long, but where else would I go? Surely my God is the strength of my soul, your love defends me. Your love defends me And when I feel like I'm all alone Your love defends me Your love defends me mm. Day after day Night after night I will remember you're with me in this fight Although the battle It rages on The war is already won Oh, I know the war Is already won Surely my God Is the strength of my soul Your love defends me Your love defends me And when I feel like I'm all alone Your love defends me Your love defends me And we sing hallelujah oh, My portion, my salvation oh, Hallelujah Surely my God is the strength of my soul your love defends me, your love defends me And when I feel like I'm all alone Your love defends me, your love defends me oh, We sing hallelujah You're my portion, my salvation And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you now and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank Thanks you for be being with us.